As I've been working on this KK build with the no LCD firmware and what appears to be the broken button 4, I've sort of come to the conclusion that button 4 is no longer the problem. I've taken the button off and I've used a little knife and there's tabs on each side that you can lift and then pull the button off and so after taking a look everything looks okay and as I pointed out if I do the 1 and 4 sequence uh, button 4 works great uh, for the ESC calibration when you power up. And the last thing that I wanted to do just to test uh, button 4 was run my voltmeter across the buttons and, and compare the difference in behavior between button 1, 2, 3, and 4. And what I've come to find out is there really is no difference. Uh, the buttons stay high at 5 volts and when you press any of them, it, they, they go to zero volts and button four does the same. So that kind of leaves me with, I'm not really convinced that button four uh, has a problem. Maybe it's something else within the KK. I'll demonstrate that real quick. Hopefully you can see. I'll just, button one's kind of difficult to access, but you'll notice that if I go across, I'm on button two, and if I go across these two pins, I got basically five and a half volts. Watch what happens when I press the button. So I'm pressing it, zero volts. Now I'm letting up on it, back to five and a half volts. So I'll go to button four, just to see if the behavior is the same. And you can see I have five and a half volts. Then I'm going to depress it, zero volts. Then I let off and back to five and a half. So I don't know if that's conclusive evidence to say that button four isn't a problem, but it sure looks to me, based on some of the things I've been able to do with it, that it is okay. I'm going to go ahead and continue with the no LCD firmware and I'll be posting a video shortly that shows uh, setting your PI gains and hopefully we'll get this KK2 Aero Sky Quad in the air nice and stable. So thanks again for all of your suggestions and you know working with me to try to figure this out. It's been a good learning experience for me to be able to use the no LCD firmware. I hope it's been useful to you and thanks for watching.